It is extremely nutrient dense, super easy to incorporate into your diet. It builds collagen and improves skin and hair, manages cholesterol levels, regulates blood sugar, and it is a whole food source of spermidine, which induces autophagy, which regenerates our cells and a lot more. And it is much more affordable than supplements. I'm talking about wheat germ. Spermidine has been trending for a while now in the anti-aging and longevity field. It is supposed to have major benefits impacting longevity, but spermidine supplements are quite expensive. And let's be honest, the last thing we need is another supplement, especially a pricey one, right? But also there have been new reports coming out that spermidine supplements are actually not very effective because apparently the spermidine doesn't actually cross the blood barrier. Specifically, there is a new study titled High Dose Spermidine Supplementation Does Not Increase Spermidine Levels in Blood Plasma and Saliva of Healthy Adults, which demonstrates that ingesting spermidine supplements doesn't increase spermidine levels in the blood. But there is a better and much cheaper way to benefit from what spermidine has to offer, and this source is wheat germ. So what is wheat germ? Wheat germ is the little heart of the wheat berry that is removed when white flour is made but the hearts is where most of the nutrition is in. Wheat germ is a nutritional powerhouse containing carbohydrates, proteins, fibers, omega-3 fatty acids, as well as vitamins A, B, C, D. It's rich in magnesium, zinc, calcium, iron, phosphorus, and potassium. It's also an amazing source of vitamin E, which we know is great for healthy skin. So with wheat germ, you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals, which means you could cut out some supplements you're currently taking and save some more money. You can add it to cereal, smoothies, yogurt, whatever. It has a nice nutty taste. I add it to my morning smoothie, I can't really taste it. So besides being much cheaper than spermidine supplements, which we're finding out might not even work, wheat germ has a ton of additional benefits. So let's talk about specific benefits that wheat germ offers us. Antioxidant. It is the most nutrient dense part of the wheat grain, right? The heart of the wheat berry. And it's a really good source of a B vitamin named thiamine, which is involved in an important energy producing reaction in our body. Wheat germ is also a really good source of the fat soluble vitamin, vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that helps prevent damage to our cell membranes in every cell throughout our body. This protection can slow down the aging process by reducing oxidative stress on the body. Nutrient density. Wheat germ contains a variety of vitamins and minerals essential for skin health and overall well-being, including vitamin B complex, zinc, magnesium, manganese. These nutrients support cellular function and repair, contributing to a more youthful appearance. Skin and hair health. Wheat germ is a good source of protein, which is necessary for the production of collagen, a protein that helps maintain skin elasticity and firmness. Consuming wheat germ may support collagen synthesis, helping to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Wheat germ also strengthens hair and nails, as the presence of vitamin B2 and vitamin E in wheat germ benefits the condition of hair, nails, and skin. Consuming wheat germ, as well as applying it as an oil, right, which you also can do, provide nourishment for the skin and also the hair. So if you wanted to and you are gluten intolerant, you could get wheat germ oil and use it on your skin and hair. So at least you would be getting those benefits. Also, wheat germ may help the reversal and slowing down of the graying of hair. Bring it on. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and you can stay up to date with similar content. Cell regeneration. The presence of B vitamins in wheat germ, particularly niacin, vitamin B3, supports cell regeneration and repair processes. This can help rejuvenate the skin and promote a more youthful appearance. So spermidine, which wheat germ has in large quantities, has been shown to induce autophagy, which is basically cell renewal. Self-eating is what it means. It's like internal housekeeping, getting rid of clutter, right? So what exactly is spermidine? Spermidine is a polyamine compound found in various foods. Besides wheat germ, it is also in soybeans, mushrooms, and aged cheeses, but I find those harder to add into my diet than wheat germ. Autophagy is a cellular process responsible for the removal of damaged or dysfunctional components. 
Autophagy plays a crucial role in cellular maintenance, rejuvenation, and longevity. By enhancing autophagy, wheat germ and the spermidine it contains may help clear out cellular debris and promote cellular health. The other effective way of inducing autophagy is fasting. But I hate fasting and I'm really awful to be around when I'm fasting. And there's also a lot of evidence coming out that fasting, especially intermittent fasting, right, which has been very trendy for a while, isn't as healthy as previously thought. So I much prefer adding wheat germ to my diet and increasing autophagy that way. It fights bad cholesterol. Wheat germ contains several components that may contribute to its ability to help fight bad cholesterol or LDL and promote heart health. Wheat germ is rich in dietary fiber, right? Particularly insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber helps prevent the absorption of cholesterol in the intestine, thereby reducing LDL levels in the bloodstream. Wheat germ also contains plant sterols, which are compounds structurally similar to cholesterol. Plant sterols compete with cholesterol for absorption in the intestine, leading to decreased absorption of dietary cholesterol and reduced LDL levels. Wheat germ is a great source of healthy fats. So wheat germ contains polyunsaturated fats, particularly omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. These healthy fats have been shown to have beneficial effects on cholesterol levels, including reducing LDL and increasing high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, HDL, the good cholesterol. Digestive wellness. Consuming wheat germ can be beneficial for the digestive system for several reasons. It is rich in fiber, which we just talked about, which is essential for maintaining healthy digestion. Since wheat germ contains prebiotic fibers, which serve as food for the beneficial bacteria in the gut, it is extremely healthy for us. These bacteria play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy digestive system by promoting regularity and supporting overall gut health. Wheat germ also contains enzymes that aid in the breakdown of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats during digestion. These enzymes can help improve digestion and nutrient absorption, reducing the likelihood of digestive discomfort such as bloating or indigestion. The consumption of wheat germ may also positively influence the composition of the gut microbiome, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria and inhibiting the growth of harmful bacteria. And as we are learning more and more, a balanced gut microbiome is essential for optimal digestion and overall health. So for dosage, I would start out with a teaspoon per day. I use one to two tablespoons every day. So how could you add wheat germ to your diet? They're very dry, fine flakes, and you can sprinkle them on dishes, sauteed dishes, grilled dishes, pasta, salads, um, or you could add it to meatballs or hamburgers, right? Or like I do, you could add it to a smoothie. I cannot taste that it's in there, even though the taste is not very strong. It's a bit nutty, and I also put walnuts in my smoothie, so whatever. If you live in Germany, like I do, or the surrounding area, there's a farm in Austria making organic wheat berry, and the quality is superb. Not sponsored, by the way. I'll have the link in the description box below. If you live in the US, Kretschmer sells wheat germ. You can get it on Amazon, for example, as well as Bob's Red Mill, and they are both very affordable. And after you've opened the package, by the way, it is best to keep your wheat germ refrigerated. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you got some value out of this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. It really helps my channel grow. And like I said, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So please and thank you. And I will see you in the next one.